hey guys welcome back to another video today we'll be looking at a uh, highly ranked team again this is a team that I've used before and it has worked well so it's just um, reusing it the meta hasn't changed for the past two seasons so I think the ranking has changed slightly especially for the ultra league but let's look at um, what we have here. We have Trevenant, Cresselia, and Walrein. Um, I remember, I think two or three seasons ago, the Trevenant Walrein core was it was actually broken. This was before Icicle Spear and Poda Snow got nerfed. Well, Icicle Spear got nerfed, and then other dark types became. Um, relevant so you kind of um, push them in the back but then back into this season you realize that it they do have a lot of play still so let's look at it we are leading with Trevenant we keep the team the same for the entire match so we're leading with Trevenant and um, Marcus Heller as a say swap and we're using Legacy Grass Knot and Moonblast for um, the dragons, you can see though that this team is weak to two things. So if you're if you're to run this team, I'd recommend you can keep it that it is, but you'd run in a lot of problems with counter user or a, a dark counter user like Scrafty or Obstagoon because um, that typing was both Walrein and well it was the entire team and um, Chrysilla is weak to the dark the Trevenant is weak to dark and the Walrein is weak to the counter so Absagoon and Scrafty will dominate this team another ghost type will dominate this team so if you run into like this Giratina if you don't know how to play your way to the situation um, you would be in problems so there's a lot of it's not the safest team to run you'd have to be um, really sharper on your game but I use it because it's a little um, fun in terms of the team comp it, it test your skills in some instances because this is a bad lead um, we're weak to fire as well because we have nothing to throw at fire um, so it tests your skills in a lot of ways um, I showed you how we beat the Giratina earlier we just beat um, the Talon Flame so if you if you work around your weaknesses know what to throw, draw out um, when to draw them out, you're fine. Um, the Snorlax is another problem again. The Snorlax, in some ways, can wall our entire team. So let's look at how we play around this. We know this is another body slam. But we're going. To, well, I wasn't counting. Our shield correct there, so we can spam these icicle spears. Uh, we could have went for the the earthquake but if they had shield would have been in problem they're trying to get to another superpower so they're more than likely going to shield this with a little go we don't want to lose a swap but they debuffed themselves two times already so we took that nicely and we can just chip here we have two things in the back that can handle the swamp well. so I think we bring in the chrysalis just to gain some additional energy and we know we can take it's a lot better and they back out after that so again we had a bad lead well they actually had a good lead this time and we played out of that situation um, no this is a bad lead this does serious damage to everything on our team so the wall rain is a direct counter to it with the earthquake 
and we swept into the wall ring after they debuffed us so this is a problem now so let's see how we play around this um, we get to the earthquake they didn't shield we have a double kill we have no real answers for the the muck so we bring out the tankiest thing and this can take the hits a little better we get to the boom mass this would be neutral but it's non-stop we have two shields they have two shields we get the surface they shield or oh, they catch on a garatina and that's fine so you have to remember that they have energy but to be honest it's pretty grim so we're going to let this go um, we have to go for the farm down this is a resisted um, shadow ball we're going to let this go because they're running acid spray they're going to farm us down so this is looking pretty grim I'm not seeing it. so they can just go acid spray here and farm us down we didn't get to the two grass nuts and we went down there so that was a uh, that was a four one or three one uh, so this is our old team um like i said it before i used it before but because the meta hasn't changed the matchups would stay the same so this is not a bad lead they can't go earthquake and they need about three rock slides to take us out and the quick move isn't doing any damage the quick move is resisted as well so we're going to we can outpace them and we both use one cheese we can take this next rock side because i said three rock sides to kill so we can just try the cloud down and we'll take that one now we have energy we're just going to go straight shut the ball since the bullet seeds sorry leaf blade sorry seed bomb is resisted so we'll go to wall rain yeah they have sacred sword which is super effective but on the leaf blade so we took that nicely this would kill if they didn't shield and they have a trevor in the back which or Chris I don't want to see so we're going to chip here um, trying to catch a seed bomb which we did um, <coughs> we could take the shadow ball then that we could farm down with the wall rain but they beta again they know they have to get our shield um, that's the only win con so we're just going for the straight farm down they cannot keep throwing the seed bombs but they're not going to get anywhere with that so we're going to take this win GG to our opponents so this team has a lot of play um, that's 4-1 this is a great lead so we've seen good leads and bad leads and we play out of those so we have a bad swap in here because like I said this entire team is weak to fire so how you play against the Stalin Flame they can't go Brave Bird because the, the Brave Bird is resisted we can let the first flame charge go knowing that we can outspan them with the Icicle Spear and if they don't shield this we're going to kill if they do shield we won't get to we won't get to the next one so they're going to take us out here but they're now in shadow claw range so two or three shadow class should do that before the one in scenario registered and that's fine now knowing what we have in the lead we can bring our chrysalia and if they swap, swap back into what they had in the lead we're still doing fine here so we build up to a seed bomb remember that we have a seed bomb ready they threw their energy and retreat so we're just going to go straight moonblast here we're not going to shield anything 
then finish form down with our um, trevenant and then we'd have oh so that's a snipe <laughs> I don't think our opponent appreciate this <laughs> but that was a nice snipe now we have energy on our Cresselia we can let this go we'll get to another um, seed bomb to do some chip they can farm a stone if they want which they did but we had the moon blast so we just need to shield this up they won the CMP obviously everything will pretty much win CMP against Crystal but we're going to get to the moon blast and this would kill so that was playing out of a bad situation like I said the uh, Talent Flame is a core breaker, the Absolute Coon is a core breaker, so they had two core breakers on their team and we still managed to pull it around. This isn't a bad lead, but this is where you'd want to see it. Again, we have another bad uh, core breaker. So the four plays will add up. Let's see if they let this go, they don't respect it, which is perfect. We can let another fall play go since they didn't went for a power punch. This will kill. Or ah, this will kill if they don't shield. Which they didn't, so that's fine. So we one swap. They bring in a talent flame. We're going to get off the moon blast. And moon blast has a chance to debuff their opponent's attack. We didn't get the debuff this time. But as we said, they can't go Brave Bird. We'd let the first flame charge go. And spam icicle spirits we will not win if they shield but we're going to bring them low enough to shadow claw down given that we got rid of the scrafty and we're close to getting rid of the the talent flame i swapped in a little too quick here so i'm going to have to shield this um, flame charge because it's twice ramped up now they can't swap back into the jelly scent so now we're going to get to shadow bar this should kill it didn't but we have a shield so even if they beat they can't get to a second move and we're taking that one again so again bad situation you just have to um, realize how to play around it and we're taking that one again so again it's not the balance the most balanced team you just have to realize what you're weak against and see how you can pull out those weaknesses so they're staying in here we land a shadow ball and we're swapping to catch on our wall run no again we're weak to that so this is fine we can let this go they win for obstruct and a situation like this obstruct would work i think i was telling in my last video that obstruct is not the best move to use but there are situations so now we had a trevenant in the lead where we to tre the obstacle going for obstruct makes sense here the plus side for us is that we have shield advantage so ideally we should have baited there because they are ramped up so they're more than likely going to shield so that was a bad call on my part would have gone to the moon blast again um, our attack is lowered so the moon blast didn't do anything so let's see how we play out of this I'm not fully remembering this much we shield up the night slash they got the boost so this considering that they're they're so ramped up the seed bomb won't take them out so we managed to farm them down they have a cabal in the back we're going to get off the shadow ball this would do a lot of damage it will not kill so their only win con now or my win con was to catch and you see i was trying to catch here but it didn't go through and i didn't get off my move so we were so close to winning that one um gg's to our opponents nonetheless um 
So it, in a similar situation, I'd have played it the same way. I'm not sure if we lagged just there or whatever. But nonetheless, GG's um, great lead. So we're going to get off this um, Shadow Ball and dip. And they shield. Usually when they shield, they beat after. But given that we, and they did, but given that we had such a good lead, and this should be another. Well, I call that wrongly. So I'm going to beat myself. I let it go. Um, we talked about the talent flame already. So we're shieldless. They're shieldless as well. But again, they can't go for the brave bird. They can go for it now and swap out, but they might as well go flame charge. They're going to do far more damage that way anyway. So they go to back to back flame charge, bring in their swampert. So we're going to chip here and then bring in our chrysalia. And we're going to farm up before we start throwing. Because we can take an earthquake. Oh, so we let them get rid of all of the excess energy. We could have gotten off that seed bomb. I didn't not sure why we didn't. But we can take an earthquake easy. So we're going to farm up extra. The talent flame is dry, but it's pretty low. So we'll take this out, get to the moon blast, and it should kill the talent flame. And we're taking that win. So great game. But again, showing the versatility versatility of this team. Um, this is neutral, but we can spam our seed bombs faster than they can sh spam the Santun. Well, get to their super effective move. This isn't. Well, this is great. We're going to get to have two leaf blades here because we're still su hitting super effective. Bringing our Cressela because our Walrin doesn't want to see this thing. Plus, our Walrin has a good matchup with the. Runagiris and our Trevenant can deal with it as well. Our Chrysella wouldn't want to see it for obvious reason, it being part, part ghost. So they bring him back. We're going for the um, Grass Nut, which is super effective. And if they don't throw, they're just trying to catch a Grass Nut. And we, we land the uh, we land the moon blast. So we're going to let this go. We're going to bring in our Trevenant to farm up. Because they can't hit us with anything super effective at this point. I'm not sure why we shield up. But we're going to let this go. We're going to maintain a shield for the watering. We're going to get this off. I'm not sure if we see MP tie just now. Yes, we did, which is excellent. So we can just let this go. Shouldn't kill. We bring in our wall ring, and we're going to throw this ice cube, and this should take the match. But yeah, that's a team. You can try it out and let me know. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel and catch you on the next one. And that's a 5 0 for you. Or oh, 4 1. My bad. <laughs> Peace.